right. Today we're here to discuss about the do and don't of the personal trainers. Okay. And uh, yeah, here's why I'm discussing this topic. So a personal trainer should not assign an exercise to a trainee or a client. Well, a personal trainer should not assign an exercise to a client that they themselves cannot perform. If as a personal trainer, you know the exercise that you are telling your client to perform, you won't be able to if you are put on the stands, then I will I would like to say, why are you putting them through it? It just doesn't make sense because oftentimes in the gym, honestly speaking, I see personal trainers that are signing workout that I know for sure they will not be able to, to perform this workout. It's just unfair. It's unfair to the client and to the facility. And why not? Do not put your client through that. It's unfair and it doesn't make sense. If you cannot perform those exercises you are assigning, do not assign it to anybody, not even to yourself, because you can't even execute it properly. All right. The next step will be do not brag about yourself in a way that will demean your your your, your client. There's a way of uh, encouraging a client and also demeaning them and and the speaking um, how you call it ill of them behind their back or to people at the gym or in front of them you might brag about how you are able to lift this weight and they are not able to not in their face but in a way that will uh, make them feel less than right is the way you say it okay or sometimes it's the way you do it you kind of pick up the weight as if you're superman or superwoman without any explanation you know your your, your client cannot pick this weight at this point due, due to what they're able to do i mean you know your client cannot pick up this weight due to where they find themselves at they are not physically fit as you they've not been working out for 10 years or five years or three years they're just getting into the gym. Their goal is to get healthy. I mean, healthy. If you are there to show off, then you shouldn't be a personal trainer, okay? Because this is not why they came to the gym for, for you to brag about your achievement, all right? So the next step is going to be, uh, do not make your client perform advanced exercises. Advanced exercises when they are a novice. Advanced exercises should only be assigned to clients that are going to execute it safely. You assigning an advanced exercise to your client is going to cause injury because they are a novice. So to your client that are a novice, it's going to cause an injury because they, can, they don't know how to properly or they have not mastered uh, the, the, the exercise yet in order for them to perform safely. Remember the goal of those clients is safety and health. They are not there for you to put them through injury. They are there, some of them are there because they're recovering from a physical therapy session, from injuries. So if you are just putting them through mm, a super advanced and a hard workout, it doesn't make sense. You're going to, to, to like hinder their growth. Some of them may run away from the gym because of you. They will not tell you, but it's because of how you make them feel. Okay? They might find that demeaning, like, oh my God, he or she is putting me through an exercise that we have never performed. Not that we have never performed before, but but that I, I don't I don't know how to execute. Even though you show me this, but I think this is too advanced for me. So be mindful of the type of exercises you assign to your to your to your client. Okay. Now our next step is do not try to pass uh, your, the time of your client, you know, by assigning silly and stupid workout. I know someone will say there isn't a stupid workout. Yeah, there is a stupid workout depending on the circumstances. Because sometimes personal trainers that work at the gym and uh, when, when, when they have worked all day and they are tired of training clients. So if you are not a lucky client, they will, they will assign you to stupid workout because they are tired of, 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 um, of pushing themselves, showing people how to work out that day. They don't feel like it. They want to go home. So in order for them to pass their time, they are just there to, to, to make you do a uh, workout that are super easy or doesn't make sense over and over and over until your time is up. And when your time is up, it's like, oh, I'll see you next time. The client will leave feeling really bad. Like, damn, I paid all this money for this. I could have done this myself. I could have done this at home. 
I could have stayed at home, I could have walked into the gym alone and performed this exercise. Why do I have a personal trainer? The essence of a personal trainer is to have someone as a guidance, okay? With progressively going to challenge you to your workout. But if you are stagnant with a client, you know that they have mastered this exercise. You need to move on. Don't waste their time and their money. It just doesn't make sense. I find it super unfair. Okay? This is the next step. The next step will be, do not give them assignment you won't follow up with. Client and assignment that you know you won't follow up with. Exercises. If you send your client home and say, oh, I want you to do these exercises and all the exercises that you will perform uh, before I meet you next time. If you want them to properly and to really take that serious, whenever they come back and meet with you, make sure you get those exercises out of the way. Follow up with them. Make sure that um, they won't perform those exercises. I mean, make sure that they are able to perform these exercises properly as you are fine. Do you know what that is going to do? They will take every assignment you give them seriously. But what happens is when you assign an exercise to your client and then you don't follow up, they're like, they're not going to follow up. They will come and lie to you. Like, oh, did you perform this exercise? Sometimes they know that you're not even going to follow up. You're not going to ask. So they will just come back. And when they're leaving, they say, oh, perform this exercise. It's like, oh, yes, I will. Like, mm, you don't even check out with me after that perform these exercises. So make sure to follow up. So the next thing will be considerate. Be considerate understanding to your client. I can't emphasize enough. Once you are considerate and understanding of your client, they will stay with you longer. They will bring more people to you. They will be, they, they will be excited about coming to, to see you. When they have worked, they say, oh, today I'm going to see my, my personal trainer. But if, if you are not considerate and you are an arrogant, they, they, they'll, they'll feel sluggish. Sometimes they will cancel on you and you won't even know why. Don't be surprised when they're canceling on you. You, you may have to <laughs> look into the way you're executing your exercises, the way you're treating your client, okay? Because these people are spending their money, their time, they want to get healthy. Give them what they deserve. Give them the services that they are paid for and beyond.